Mm. All right, so you you heard it. You know, Habakkuk the second chapter says you that the uh, the 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 vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And the the vision of these prophecies are speaking. All right, everything that the uh, that the prophets have been warning and been saying we're going to come to pass in these last days. They're coming to pass, and one of the key prophecies is that. RFID chip being what the Bible calls the mark of the beast. All right, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, that, that guy said that you are going to have to, you know, get this chip in your hand, right? And he said that it was an identity mandate. All right, let's look up. Let's look up these words, man. Mandate. An authoritative command or instruction, a command or authorization given by a political electorate. So, um, yeah, so an authoritative authoritative command or instruction. And we know that the the ones, the only ones that can mandate something, that can require something, you know, within this B system is the the the, the red horse himself, which is Esau Edom. All right, this is the so-called white man. This is who had been raised up by the most high to be the uh the fourth beast the the, the last heathen to uh, to have dominion over the earth in these last days and times all right and he is going to mandate he is going to require everyone all right because if you look what he said he said uh what he say not just students <laughs> he said not just students He said, not just students, he said the staff, the faculty, the whole university. Again, Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, all right? The students, the faculty, the staff, the janitor, the bus drivers, all right? Everybody. And that word mark, let's look at that. The word mark comes from the Greek word charagma, right? Where is that? Charagma, which means a stamp and imprinted mark. Thing carved, sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. And what's that, that idolat idolatrous image today? Technology, science, artificial intelligence, okay? It comes from the Greek, the Greek word, I'm sorry, like the, uh, the root word charax, which means a pale or stake. Now, I pulled up the uh, image of a stake Look at this, something sharp, right? Something sharp, okay? Now, what's gonna be that stake? All right, the stake is gonna be that needle, that uh, syringe, all right? To, to actually put the chip in you, to, to pierce through your skin, it's gonna be that, that syringe. That's gonna be your stake. Your Karax. See that? He said as the human body becomes, he said the human body becomes a technological platform. So you see that? The merger between man and machine has already begun. Go back and look at movies like The Terminator, right? The Terminator, you had machines from the future go back into the past, but in the, the one that came out, the most recent one, the, the fifth one, 
that came out. You had um, a hybrid that went to the past. So the the uh, her name was Grace. She went back to the past to uh, to save you know um, the, the 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 leader or whatever who, who they needed to to stay alive uh, to to, to uh, stay alive from the Terminator, right? Uh, the savior. She went back and she was a hybrid. They called her a um, what they call her a um, damn what is it? Oh, it's right at the tip of my tongue. Augmented, okay, augmented. Let me look that word up. She was uh, enhanced. Define augmented. Augmented, larger of larger by a semitone than the corresponding major. Uh, increased in number, amount, or strength. Made greater, larger, or more complete. And how was she made? How was she augmented? She was augmented by, by way of technology. She was basically a, a half cyborg, half human. She was able to see further. She was able to, to, to move quicker. All right. She was able to uh, her, her reflexes were, were super, super fast and sharp. But the only downside to that is she would like burn out like her battery would go down. You know what I'm saying? So this is all this is. <laughs> hey, man, the vision is speaking, man. The vision is speaking. The vision is speaking. All right. Back to that. Uh, the Karox, the uh, picture I had of the stake. So. The modern day uh, stake that Karox would be, as you saw, the syringe, okay? This is how they're gonna put that into you, all right? And we're here warning the house of Israel not to do this, all right? This is the ultimate form of worshiping the idol and the Lord is gonna bring judgment on those that take that mark, man. All right, and this is just something real quick, you know, through the spirit. Revelation 14, verse nine it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb so when the lord pull up all right with the holy angels all right, the, the, the Lord, the angels, and the elect are going to be observing all these Mark of the Beast takers, <laughs> you know, on fire, man. Because fire is coming to this on this earth, man. The missiles are going to get shot off. The, the chariots are going to come, and they're going to be burning shit down. All right, destruction is coming. And that's just after the Bible, man. We just read it, okay? We'll go back to the 13th chapter and finish reading that. Revelation 13, verse 16. And he calls it all. He's going to make it be required, all right? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, which is everybody, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he or except he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him understand uh, under, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score six, which is six six six, which is chai sai stigma, okay. Which, when you look at the uh, the Greek symbols there, it's you have the X, which is Xing out the Messiah. You have the uh, symbol there, which is like the, uh, the the serpent from the medical symbol. All right, which represents uh, Esau's medicine. And then you have the, uh, the, the stigma symbol, which is uh, the sign of um, uh, what you, uh, would, would which you would imprint on somebody, okay? What you would brand somebody with, okay? So Esau is Xing out the Messiah and he's replacing it with his medical system, his, his, uh, you know, his, uh, his technology and his medicine, all right? And this is the modern day idol, all right? This is that, that new uh, image of Baal that the Lord said he reserved 7,000 men who would not bow to this. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that. Then let me see if I can get anything else because I'm on, I'm on break right now. I might have to get back to work, but just wanted to go ahead and bring this out real quick. I might go back into this later on, the Chasa Stigma thing, but yeah, it's just Xing out the Messiah, replacing it with, with medicine because the salvation of this earth, because guess what? Con Julio 1-9 has been the whole, you know, 
crisis of the earth, right? Now the world is looking for a salvation. It's looking for a savior. You know, the world doesn't talk about, you know, anything spiritual. They don't, they don't say maybe we need to repent. Maybe we need to pray and fast. No, the world is saying we need, we need medicine. We need healing. We need an, an improved, um, you know, vaccination. Which people ain't even tripping about the, the, having a vaccination. They tripping on the speed that it came. You know, if it took another year or so, you know, people wouldn't be really, you know, tripping on it. But a lot of people are saying, well, it came too quick. I'm, I'm concerned about safety, you know, which is off anyway, man. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end that through the spirit, man. Lord willing, I was edifying until next time. I say shalom. I'm giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.